dozen protesters walking the streets of downtown Barrie Friday, pressing their case to raise Vermont's minimum wage. 960 an hour right now, Vermont's wage scheduled to bump up to $10 in January, 1050 a year later. While one of the more generous in the country, they say it's nothing you can live on. You have to work several jobs in order to make it anywhere nearby, if that, and that's not including any luxuries whatsoever. Some argue a higher minimum is the best way for thousands of workers to dig out of poverty. A person working full time should not should make enough income to support her family. That is why Vermont Interfaith Action and those in the community who are showing their support today fully support the campaign to raise the wage in Vermont to $15 an hour. After the election that didn't go their way, faith groups and labor unions know it's an uphill battle. Republican Governor-elect Phil Scott made clear in the yeah, campaign he doesn't you. think a lot That's of employers can afford a 50 percent increase. We need to live within our means. We're going to have to grow this economy. We're going to have to have more balance in the state house. 10, 10, can't be the end. Still, supporters will try to persuade the incoming legislature, still overwhelmingly Democratic, to consider a $15 minimum and say Governor-elect Scott might be persuadable. You know, we have a history of leading on issues of basic economic justice. And I'm sure that we can build up a grassroots movement. On the streets here, they still have work to do. Trump will help you. Just keep, back, keep right after Donald Trump. He'll do good for you. In Barry, Stuart Ledbetter, NBC5 News.